sleep depth calculator. Did you know that giraffes sleep four and six hours a day? We humans need more than that. If we don't sleep enough, we accumulate sleep depth. In this project, we will calculate if you are getting enough sleep each week using a sleep depth calculator. The program will determine the actual and ideal hours of sleep for each night of the last week. Finally, it will calculate in hours how far you are from your weekly sleep goal. Like usually, if you get stuck during this project or would like to see an experienced developer work through it, click get help to see a project walk through video. Let's start the project. And we have 12 tasks. The first problem to solve is determining how many hours, hours of sleep you got each night of the week. You can create a function that returns any given night's number of hours of rest. Instead of writing seven different functions, one for each day of the week, let's write one function with a parameter for the day. Let's create a function named get sleep hours with a single parameter named day. So only one parameter, and that's why we can omit the parentheses in this arrow function syntax. Okay. The function should accept a day as an argument and return the number of hours you slept that night. For instance, if you got eight hours of sleep on Monday night, calling get sleep hours with the Monday argument should return eight. Use an if else or switch statement to implement this. Okay, let's go there and let's use switch statement okay so if we type monday but first let's make sure it is lowercase okay and check conditional will be day and the first case is Monday and if that is the case then return 8 and let's write the rest of the cases what were the other days So the next one is Tuesday and let's return 6. Next one is Wednesday and if that's the case let's return seven the next one is thursday and if that's the case return nine and the next one is friday and if that's the case Let's return five. The next one is Saturday. If that's the case, return 10. And the last one is Sunday. And if that's the case, return 11 okay now let's test the function by calling it multiple times and printing the result to console you can remove the test when you know your function works okay let's call the function console log it and 
type Friday and we got five Thursday Wednesday and we got seven okay it seems to be just fine now that you have written a function to get the sleep hours for each night we need to do three things get the total sleep hours that you actually slept get the ideal sleep hours that you prefer and calculate the sleep depth if, if any to get the total sleep hours that you actually slept create a new function name get actual sleep hours that takes no parameters so no parameters for this one okay inside the get actual sleep hours function call the get sleep hours function for each day of the week add the results together and return the sum using an implicit return okay and let's and let's write single line block so we are returning the sum of calling this function for all seven days in the week so get sleep hours with the monday okay Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think. Let's change the arguments. should be fine to get the ideal sleep hours that you prefer create a function named get ideal sleep hours with no parameters inside the function declare a variable named ideal hours and set its value to your ideal hours per night So let's say ideal hours is 8, then return the ideal hours multiplied by 7, multiplied by 7, you will want to multiply by 7 to get the total hours you prefer per, per week, okay, test your two functions by calling them and printing the results to the console. And you can remove the test when you know your function works okay let's test first one get actual sleep hours and we got 56 and now let's return Let's console log the get ideal sleep hours and it's 56. Okay, that should be fine. Now that you can get the actual sleep hours and the ideal sleep hours, it's time to calculate sleep depth. Create a function named calculate sleep depth with no parameters. Okay. No parameter oops no parameters inside of the parentheses inside of its block create a variable named actual sleep hours set equal to the get actual sleep hours function call and get actual sleep hours call so we get number value 
then create another variable named ideal sleep hours and that one should be set equal to get ideal sleep hours function call so we can get the ideal number of sleep hours now that you have actual sleep hours and ideal sleep hours you can write a few if else statements to output the result to console the function should fulfill this logic if actual sleep let's start the if block if actual sleep so actual sleep equals ideal sleep log to the console that the user got the perfect amount sleep so console log oops you got perfect amount of sleep okay now check other condition if the actual sleep is greater than the ideal sleep log to the console that the user got more sleep than needed you got more sleep than needed and if the actual sleep is less than the ideal sleep log to the console that the user should get some rest so otherwise you should get some rest okay that should be okay i guess to make this calculator more helpful, add the hours the user is over or under their ideal sleep in each log statement in calculate sleep depth. Okay, let's add that. So you got perfect amount. If those two numbers are equal. So let's add. Okay let's use the backticks and string interpolation template with our syntax you got perfect amount of number of hours of sleep let's do that same here You got more sleep than needed and let's write right here you slept and now oops let's use those two variables and let's do like this Then a number more hours you got more sleep than needed and right here okay right here we need the opposite you slept number of hours you should get some rest okay i think this should be fine now on the last line of the program start the program by calling calculate 
sleep depth function. And we got, you got perfect amount of 56 and we got, forgot to type hours of sleep. So let's refresh. You got perfect amount of 56 hours of sleep. And let's change this to nine. Let's see. And we got, you slept and we forgot to type you slept two hours you should get some rest two hours less and now we got you slept two hours less you should get some rest and let's change this to 14 and now we got you slept three more hours or maybe let's change it to three hours more you slept three hours more you got more sleep than needed and now everything is fine so this one is completed for extra practice try this get actual sleep hours could be implemented without calling get sleep hours so get actual let me find get actual sleep hours could be implemented without calling get sleep hours use literal numbers and the plus operator to rewrite get actual sleep hours it should still return the total actual hours slept in the week okay let's change those I'm not sure why that is important, but let's change those to actual hours, actual numbers, six, seven, nine, five, ten. Or for and 14 and everything is the same of course close the pop-up message some people need to sleep longer than others rewrite get ideal sleep hours so that you can pass it an argument like get ideal sleep hours with the parameter argument inside where where 8 is the ideal hours per night update the call to get ideal sleep hours in calculate sleep depth function tool and let's change that so we have a parameter now ideal hours we don't need this variable and let's delete this one too and get ideal sleep hours call get ideal sleep hours should be eight and now let's run our code and yes we got you slept three hours more you got more sleep needed and now let's change this to four hours and we should get that we slept less than we needed Yep, you slept seven hours less, you should get some rest. Okay, we did everything. And now let's continue to the functions quiz. 